Here we see 1s, 2s and 3s orbitals that correspond to these three energies. An electron with the arrow pointing up is said to be in the 1s, 2s and 3s states, etc. The 1s state is the ground state. The other states are called excited states. The 1s wave functions show a decrease in size as the radius gets bigger. Decrease in size means the probability of finding an electron far from the nucleus decreases. The factors pi and a naught in front of the wave function are called normalization constants and make sure the probability found from the square of the wave function does not exceed unity. The 2s wave functions go to zero at a distance of r equals 2 a naught. That is, the wave function for 2s electrons have a node at 2 Bohr radii from the nucleus. The 3s wave function has two nodes from solving the quadratic equation seen in the wave function. The nodes occur at 1.9 and 7.1 times the Bohr radius a naught. When an electron undergoes a transition from a 1s orbital to another, both the energy and the wave function of the electron changes. An exact quantum of energy must be observed, which is given by the difference between two energy states. Transitions between levels must conserve angular momentum. Since photons have an angular momentum of plus one, the electron spin flips from up to down in the transition to conserve angular momentum. When an electron jumps from n equals 1 to n equals infinity, this is just equal to the energy needed to remove the electron completely from the hydrogen atom. This produces then a hydrogen plus 1 ion. It is therefore the ionization energy.